Just a day after a six-year-old boy died in a pre-Christmas tragedy, another boy, also six, is fighting for life following a terrible car crash. He was flung from his family's van when it was hit by a truck on the Hume Highway near Campbelltown. The rear of the Toyota Tarago is pulverised. The truck that smashed into it is 40 metres further down the Hume Highway and close by, paramedics work to save the life of a little boy. Scattered around them, a suitcase, beachwear, kitchen utensils, groceries, games, a guitar, the promise of a Christmas family holiday. The boy's mother and 12-year-old sister were taken to hospital with minor injuries. The six-year-old was critical. His legs crushed, his head injuries severe. He was flown by Care Flight helicopter to the children's hospital at Westmead. The truck driver was relatively unscathed. The metal around the, the bottom of the truck wrapped around his lower leg and uh, he was just kind of caught, but he was okay physically. Crash investigators will ask the truckie why there were no skid marks before the 100 km an hour impact in the breakdown lane where the boy's mother had pulled over because her car had broken down. Traffic snaked its way for kilometres back past the scene of another accident near the Norellan Road turnoff 16 days ago, which killed a truck driver Mick Kingston and injured 14 people. It's been a bad month on our roads. There is only one gift that we want this Christmas, and that is to have no more road deaths. So police will saturate the highways as they do every Christmas and doctors will brace for one of the busiest times of their year. Once you've been seriously injured from a motor vehicle crash, the effects of these injuries can last months or even years. Let's go to Robert Ovadia outside the Children's Hospital at Westmead now. Rob, is there any update on the condition of the young boy? Well, Mark, I understand he is still in a critical condition and I'm told his mother was actually on the phone to NRMA roadside assistance at the time of the crash. Now that phone call was recorded and will no doubt form some part of the police inquiry. So far this year there have been 332 deaths on New South Wales roads. That's an ugly number but still 23 down on last year. Police certainly want to keep it that way and because of that double demerit points will be in force as of midnight tonight, Mark. Yeah, let's hope it helps, Rob. Thank you.